Okay, first thing you want to do is create your path. I already brought in a ball in my character. I'm doing the path. Just trying to uh, show you how it's done. If I can do it, you can do it. Double click on the end of the path so it stops making markers. Select the ball. And then uh, select the path. Select the first one you made. Make sure it says follow path is checked. And then you want to follow or advance your timeline. Then click path again. And for each point you want to have it to follow the path each time. Sorry if there's background noise, TV on in the other room. Just continue on picking path points as you go, and you, as you advance. Now, the more path points you put in, and the closer you're, they are together, um, and how far you advance your timeline in between points will make, will speed it up or slow it down. Now, when you're all done with that, let's see. Let's go to the front view. I think. Oh yeah, first I gotta make her. Make sure she's looking at it. You don't have to do this part, but I I thought it was cool. Now we'll do the reach point. Select the right hand first. And we'll have it reach for the ball. Okay. So we hit the eyedropper and click on the ball and she'll reach for it. Move your timeline around. I'm gonna release her. I'm gonna release that hand because uh, it cuts through the body. You'll see when I show you in the front view. I mean, you have to be a little more accurate than I'm being right now. I'm just doing this to show how it's done. Release that hand. Pick the other hand. To get eye dropper. Select the ball. Release that hand, pick the other hand, eye dropper, ball. Now we're at the end. So, we'll stop it and go to front view. And uh, this is how it works. Now, when you um, render this out, it won't show the path. That's the reason I'm doing it this way, so you can see the path and how the ball follows it and how she points towards it with the reach target. See how the arms pass through the body? See, you know, you can be a little more accurate than I'm being right now. And you can also move the circle. So in this case, I'll, see, I'll move it up a little bit. Advance the timeline. Move it up a little bit more. Advance the timeline. And then uh, you can also tilt it in any direction you want. I'm just going to tilt it forward, I think, so you can see how it's done. It's just, and it is still follow the path just like that
You can also do this without a path just by moving the ball around in your timeline, you know, as you go through the timeline and have the reach target also. You can also use feet. <laughs> Now, one thing that uh, when you get the ball real close to the body, the knee will bend. Same thing with the arm. If you get it real close, the arm will bend because uh, the kinetics are there. Okay, that's it. <laughs>